Hey YouTube, how you doing? <clears throat> I want to do a little knife review today on a custom folder I just got uh, from a guy named Marty Young, up and coming knife maker. I actually met him at the Blade Show in Atlanta, uh, 2011, so last June, and really nice guy. And all his work that I saw on his table was was really top notch. The guy's got uh, some really interesting designs. So after talking with him for a while. I, I didn't get one from him from the show because I wanted to build a custom one for me. And I kind of made a special request for a flipper and he had never done one before. And so he was game. He thought about it at one time. And um, his attention to detail as far as his knife making skills go are second to like almost none. Uh, he was so concerned about the pivot, what he was going to use, IKBS, uh, thrust washers, he tried a bunch of different things. Anyhow, long story short, he did make one flipper for me. And this is actually the second one that he did. Uh, there was some issues with the first one, and he kind of scrapped the whole project and built, built it from scratch again uh, with the same materials that I requested. So I asked him for, uh, first and foremost is the blade, most important part of any tool, which is uh, BG42. So that's what the blade steel is. I asked for a full titanium backspacer. He did that for me. Very nice. Uh, this is just uh, ivory micarta and carbon fiber for the bolsters. Custom made pocket clip. So all in all, he did a fantastic job on it. I mean, it just really nice satin finished, razor sharp. He redesigned the flipper here, put some jimping on it as you can see. Maybe you can get a better shot when it's closed on the back side of it there. He has phosphor bronze bushings in there. And this is kind of interesting is, is how he did the recess for the stop pin in the back. So when it's opened, it kind of snicks right in there. I asked for extra a little bit thicker liners, lockup is beautiful. Very, very strong detent on this. I, I, that's one of my pet peeves is when the knife's closed. You can see how this thing just, I mean, it's, it's in there. No play when the, when the knife is closed. Absolutely none when it's open. Just rock solid, feels good in hand, good size. Just over a three inch blade. Nice jimping on the back there. Kind of a drop point, very thick. I think it's four millimeter, might be three. I think it's four though. So I highly recommend his work. It doesn't take long to get one. And he stands behind his work wholeheartedly. It's just a great, great uh, knife maker. So anyhow, this was just a quick review. I haven't done a whole lot of cutting with it yet. I've been carrying it, but it's just been, been real limited what I've been doing with it, and uh, I hope to use it more. Hopefully, uh, you know, try out some anything from nylon, cord, cardboard boxes, uh, and I'll probably chop some fruit or you know vegetables on it. I really like the grind he did on the, on the knife, even for a thick blade. It just it's razor, so it, it should. Yeah. Should work out really well. I think the flipper is a, is a little, it, it takes a little bit of a wrist flick to get it, but it, it's fairly new, so I think once it breaks in, it'll uh, it'll smooth out. But uh, anyhow, thanks for watching YouTube. Again, his name is Marty Young. Give him a call. He's online.